So today, we are doing probably the most requested video since the draft. Marcelo Meyer to the Boston Red Sox. And it actually works out really well because Jaron Duran just got called up. So I feel like let's put them together, put them on the Red Sox. Let's see what happens. And I hope you enjoy the video. Of course, if you do hit that thumbs up down below, let's aim for a thousand likes. It's been a few videos since we've hit that. I want to challenge you guys. And if so, if so, I'll do a double upload tomorrow. I got some videos planned. I want to pump them out for you. So if you can do that, two videos for tomorrow. If you're new here, consider hitting that subscribe button. We just hit 48K, 2,000 away from 50. I think we can do it by the end of the month. And of course, in the comment section down below, let me know what video you would like to see next. All right, so you guys have been asking what roster I've been using right here. You see the little red outline, 2021 updated draft, Real Matty Ice 27. I saw you commented on the video yesterday, the Pirates video that I was using your roster. There it is. This is what we've been using. Um, this one is a majority of round two and three. He's been working hard. So there it is. Go check out that roster. So obviously with the Red Sox, you know, Chris Sale coming back from Tommy John, I think this year, I think that's the rumor that's going around. And I mean, you guys can get to see the team. Like it's there. We, we know who's all there, who's in the team, all that good stuff with the Red Sox at this point in the season, at least. Um, I definitely think they're going to be buyers at the deadline. There's no reason why they wouldn't be. They're first in the division. They're doing really, really well. I feel like they could use a couple more pieces, maybe a bat, maybe some pitching help. I definitely think they've got they've got a good year going on. So obviously we're here for the man, Marcelo Meyer. On the original roster, so the roster that I showed you, he's actually a 63, I believe it is. I bumped up his stats just a little bit. Um, some of the fielding stats, some of the hitting stats, not too much, but just enough to bump him up to a 65 overall. So he definitely should feature by at least season three. Season three for sure. I don't know where I'm gonna get him into this team. Uh, maybe second base. Ooh, I'm going to do that now. Yeah, he he probably will stay, you know, a shortstop or a third baseman. Six foot three is kind of big, but I think second base is kind of like the only opening because Devers, Bogarts, they're not going to move. And Devers going to first maybe. But then what does Dahlbeck do? So you know what? Because he's going to be competing with a bunch of players. For now, I'm going to make him a second baseman. But... Whatever happens, you know, we might we might move him to third, you know, maybe move Devers to first. There's a bunch of different options. We'll figure it out. It bumps him up to a 70 overall. This is Marcelo Meyer. The Red Sox also drafted Judd Fabian, which here he is, right fielder, 20 years old, 63 overall. We'll see. He potentially could come into the team as well. I know he was a Florida product. Had a really good start of his like college career this past year. Really struggled. And that's why his draft stock dropped. So we'll have to wait and see how he does. I mean, I think the I think the Red Sox had a really good draft. I like those two picks, especially in the first two rounds. I think they did pretty well. So I'm going to leave the season as is. It's probably not going to go as well as it is in real life. But um, yeah, this is, this is the team I'm going to rock with for sure. For season one, just to kind of get an idea of like who... Who we need to start changing. I think, you know, like Hunter Renfro definitely needs to get into the team. We'll see how he does. If he does well, we keep him. If not, I think first base could potentially be a little bit of a question mark. Just because, you know, Bobby Dahlbeck is either going to be really good or really bad. There's going to be no in between. There, there, there just isn't. So let's see what happens. Let's see how this team turns out. And uh, we'll go from there once like we get past the draft and everything. Alrighty, so the draft, it, it was okay. We got a catcher here. Cortez, 89 potential. Not the best behind the dish. Maybe our version of Gary Sanchez. You got Doug Bryson with 86 potential. Peter Cock with 83 potential. And the last three picks weren't too great. But the top three, I'm pretty happy with. So we're at the deadline. I'm going to pick up James Paxton. And I'm thinking maybe we can get another season out of him. He's having a really good year. His stats really aren't going down. And if we can sneak another season out of him, I'm not against it. I think this would be a decent pickup. I know, I know he played for the Yankees for a couple seasons. But you know what? Let's make him our own. Let's see what he does here. Garrett Richards and Jonathan Arouse. Arouse. Ar whatever. Jonathan, you're out. That, that's that's the move. So there we go. That's the only pitcher that we're going to acquire. And uh, he slots right in. Boom. Perfect. I mean, you can see the starters are doing fairly well. Uh, bullpen, not so much. But you know what? We'll, we'll just wait till the offseason because a lot of the guys are actually expiring contracts. So let's just get into the offseason. See how things go. Probably making the postseason unless everything just goes terribly. All right, so we're a wild card team, 88 and 74. So not as good as in real life, but you know, four games behind the Yankees. 
we'll, we'll definitely change this team. We'll definitely become a contender. We'll probably win the division next year. That, that's my that's my plan. I feel like this team is pretty close to being just like absolutely taking over the league. So as you can see, standings pretty pretty the norm I would say. Chris Sale had I guess seven really good games, and then of course Bogarts, JD Martinez taking over offensively. Awards Cy Young, Gold Glove, Hank Aaron Award, and a Silver Slugger. All right, okay, 250 homer seasons, three. Interesting. Okay. Chris Sale, Cy Young winner. What else do we got here? Batting title. All right. Okay. No reliever. Kind of kind of figured that one was coming. And okay. All right. So let's go take a look. See how pitching kind of turned out. It looks like Tanner Houck didn't get any innings. Martin Perez got sent down. Kind of makes sense. Makes sense. And then anybody else get some time. Andres got sent down. He actually wasn't too bad. I'm not going to bring him back, but... You know what? He wasn't too bad. Sawamura, yikes. Not great. Not great. Josh Taylor, definitely need to call him up next year. One of those sneaky lefties to have in your team. And Ryan Brazier got sent down even though he had 40 innings of absolute insane pitching. Because he did well. Alright, Thaddeus Ward didn't get any didn't get in any innings. Uh, Workman, yikes. Whitlock, none. Okay. Darwinson, geez. Okay definitely going to be looking to improve the bullpen i just don't know where because usually bullpen options are pretty slim and i don't necessarily want to go a little like crazy with the trades and everything just because i don't i don't want to like kind of thin out the team too much so let's go with brazier back up we'll send down Darwin's in because he was rough and then offensively we should be fine i don't think too much is going to change here Maybe one player was sent down, and that player was Danny Santana. I can see why. I can definitely see why. I don't think anybody else was sent down. Maybe Ploiecki, our backup catcher. Michael Chavis, I'm, I'm, he's kind of on a short leash. He's really one of those players that I'll probably look to flip, especially if we need somebody to come up and help us out. Duran got called up but had no, no contribution at the major league level. Okay, Verdugo. Bogarts usually does well. 23 homers, 46 doubles. I like to see that. JD Martinez, fantastic season. Devers, 40 home runs. Okay. 25 for Dahlbeck. Okay, all right. I'll definitely give him another season. See how he does. Renfro, probably just going to let him walk. Vasquez, pretty disappointing season. Kike Hernandez, not too bad. Not too bad. Okay. Okay, I think we got one more year of him, so we're good there. And then Marwin isn't too bad. I'll see how much he wants. And maybe we, we bring him back as a DH again. Or, or, well, Jaron Duran's coming up, right? Maybe stick him in left or right. JD Martinez, DH. And then we find a new outfielder. Because I don't think we have another outfielder just yet. We do have Judd Fabian, but like obviously he's not ready. And then looking at the other options here... Eh, you know, like we don't we don't really have someone that can come in and like really make a make a difference. So boom, auto fix it. We lose 10 to 1. Excuse me. The Padres defeat the Yankees. Not not a good start. Not a good start. 10 to 1. Oh man, I gotta sneeze. But um alright, yeah, 10 to 1. Not not good. Not good at all. Marwin, how much do you want? seven nine if we go two so if we go one year i don't really want to go more than like one or two years though let's do one let's see if he takes it next brandon workman no james paxton what do you want for a year 10 mil deal we can we can rock with that for sure that's not too bad throw you there we've got some money to spend eduardo rodriguez i'm gonna do a, a little little two-year club option We'll make it 10 mil each year. We'll see if you take it. If he does well, we keep him. If not, we can let him walk. Christian Vasquez, I know you've been a Boston Red Sox for quite some time. I was really disappointed in this. I don't think we're going to find another like catcher that's going to be... No, sorry. Not for 12 mil. I'm going to get somebody else. And then Matt Barnes, he's going down, which worries me. Which really worries me. And I don't know if I want to pay that kind of money. I'll, I'll give him an option. You know, like a little club option here. See if he takes it, but... I, I don't know. I don't know if he's going to be good, but I'm also worried that we're not going to have a lot of bullpen options there, like right here, which we, we kind of do, kind of don't. So Matt Barnes didn't take it. We got to figure that out.
Ugh, this is gonna be tough. This is gonna be tough. Ooh, we gotta figure this out. So, all the starters came back. Nick Pavetta probably gonna look to replace. Yeah, and then we definitely need some bullpen help here. So, that's the big problem. I do want to go out and get a offensive piece, maybe a new outfielder. I'm just not sold on Renfro. So, let's see what we can do. All right, so we're gonna start season two by training for JB Wendelkin. He is insane. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna pick him up. We need some bullpen help. Let's go Jack Lopez, Jet Bandy, and Darwinson Hernandez to make this deal possible. I'm gonna get Tommy Nance to the Cubs, kind of the guy that just jumped onto the scene out of nowhere, signed from independent ball. He's actually 71 overall on this roster, which may be a little bit too high, but you know what? We're gonna give him maybe a season or two in the minors. That way he'll be like 30, 31. We'll see how he does. I'm just kind of looking for some like fringe relievers that that way, if things don't do too well, that we can just you know, kind of maybe call them up from AAA rather than like constantly having to go and sign a bunch. Just because relievers are so hard to pick up in free agency. They're just so sporadic. Like you never know which ones are going to be there. You don't know if they're going to be good. You don't know how much you're going to have to pay. So this way, if we at least have some kind of stockpiled in the farm system, obviously I'm not going to go out and get like Edwin Diaz and have him behind a closer. But like at least have some like fringe guys that maybe will develop in the farm system that way we have somebody just in case things go poorly so this is currently what we're looking like i'm gonna actually do this really quick because i already know who i want to like send down send down and everything so i'm gonna send down him we'll do this really quickly marwin's good we'll send down blaze jordan we'll put him in we'll put him in single a for the season and then Christian Arroyo needs to come down, even though I know he's had some bright spots this season. And I think we have way too many catchers. So let's go like this, put him in triple A, put him in double A. And I think we're set there. Oh, 25 guys now. Ooh, so we have an extra spot open. Let's see, what do we have or what do we need? We could rock another position player. We could rock another pitcher. So, what we're going to rock with is, I guess Christian Arroyo does get his shot this season. Okay, so yeah, let me talk to you about this team really quick. So, you guys can see James Paxton was brought back. One-year deal, 10 mil. We got Eduardo Rodriguez on a two-year club option. We'll see how he does. And then, I brought in Vladimir Gutierrez from the Reds. He was available in free agency. Super cheap deal for three years. I thought maybe he develops, maybe he improves. If not, you know what? It was less than, like, a million. It was less than, like, three-quarters of a million. So, it's really not that big of a, like, a a gamble on top of that he actually had a decent year last year so let's see what happens tanner hawk 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 i think it's hawk hawk oh man i looked this up too and i forgot already we're gonna call him tanner because i should i, I just i don't know i don't know we're gonna we're gonna pick him up or not pick him up we're gonna call him up he's got good control he's gonna develop we're gonna put him in the long relief spot and then you guys can kind of see our bullpen here Jimmy garcia got brought in for five and a half mil he had a really good year last year, J.B. Wendelkin, and then of course, Dan Winkler was brought in. Just a one-year deal for him, three and a half mil. Let's talk about this lineup now. So, it looks young in some parts, it looks good in other parts, you know, kind of like established players, Bogarts, Martinez, Devers, but then, um, you know, Duran, Dahlbeck, Verdugo, still kind of young. You know, like, we, we've, we've got some names. We brought in Christian, or brought back Christian Vasquez, two-year deal, club option, ten and a half mil. The other catchers, they just didn't really tickle my fancy, you know? Kike, and then of course, Corey Dickerson was brought in on a one year, six and a half million dollar deal because he actually had a really strong season last year. And I was like, ooh, he can kind of be that, that like just maybe a one year guy until we see someone that actually has really good value. We can pick him up. Cause I think this year, this off season, we have some outfielders that I think would really, really do well in this outfield spot. Plus, we don't, we don't really have like an, unless we rock with Judd Fabian, we don't really have anybody, Franchi Cordero potentially, but like we don't really have anybody else that could like come in and really make an impact. So yeah, this is the team, Tony Walters, one year deal. And then yeah, kind of like this. So let's see how things go. I like the team still. Um, I'm gonna show you Marcelo Meyer really quickly. He's really high rated because of that second base. If you move him to shortstop, he's probably like a 70. So, you know, kind of take, Take his rating with a grain of salt because that's, you know, it's because he's at second base. So I just, you, he's not going to play over Xander. He's not going to play over Devers. And if Bobby Dahlbeck continues to do well, you know, first base is blocked for our Devers to move over and we can move Meyer to third. So we'll have to figure something out. But so far, so good. Let's get into the season. 
All right, here's our draft for season two. Mike Bentz, a little bit of a reach, but 78 potential isn't terrible. We've got 83 potential for Steven Cho, 84 potential for Michael Coburn, and 85 potential for Miguel Moreno. Not a bad little draft pick for round four. Armand Marquez is heading to Boston for James Paxton and Johan Mieses. Uh, James Paxton, just complete 180 from last year. Just can't put it together at all. I thought he was going to do well. I already know some of you guys are going to be like, I knew James Paxton was going to be bad. Well, it happened. It happened. So we're going to get Marquez. He's got this year and next year on his deal. So we have someone that can slot in perfectly. We should be doing okay. Um, bullpen's not doing terrible. There are a couple eyesores. Josh Taylor being one. Wendelkin being another. And uh, yeah, the, I already sat down Walden so I could call up Whitlock. But um, yeah, everybody else is doing all right. The offense is actually doing really, really well. Uh, the only downside right now is Corey Dickerson. He's not doing terribly. It's just like he's not he's not doing great. You know what I mean? Like he's just kind of eh. Yeah. So I brought in Franchi. Franchi was having a pretty decent year. Uh, Michael Chavis is actually having a really good year. Um, but it looks like most like just off the bench is probably like a good role for him for now. So we'll, we'll figure something out. We could always use Kike in the outfield because he's having a pretty decent year. But he's also going down as well. So we'll definitely have to figure out some some spots that are opening it up. But uh, are opening up. But right now we're doing all right. So we won the division 96 and 66. Let's go take a look and see how things went. One game Ooh, against the Yankees too. Hold on. So this series, it, we won by a game, right? So right, this game right here on the 8th actually tied us. Like, we were the same record. And then winning the last game of the season. Imagine the atmosphere at this game. Red Sox, Yankees for the division. Ooh. Oh, man. That would have been... That would have been tense. Like, you, that would have been... That would have been good. some good baseball right there. League leaders, Bogarts with runs and doubles. Let's take a quick look at home runs, see if anybody kind of popped off. Cody Bellinger, that's 250 home run seasons for him. And then we take a look at awards. We got a gold glove for Vasquez. Devers was in the mix for MVP. What else do we have here? Any interesting names kind of in the running for some things? Adam Hazley winning the batting title. Okay. Loi Sego with the Royals winning reliever of the year. Torkelson just beat out Jaron Duran. 35 home runs, 31 doubles, almost 100 RBIs. That's a pretty good year. That's a pretty good year. Jaron Duran, though, he put up a fight. That's a pretty good season, too. What about on the other side? All right. Okay. So let's go take a look, see how things kind of turned out. So who did they send down? Whitlock. How did Whitlock do in his time in the majors? Not bad. Not bad. So, okay. I like seeing that. I also did call up Thaddeus Young. I want to see how he pitched. He, he was okay. It, it wasn't great, but all right. So um, Tanner here kind of struggled. You know, Pivetta was all, didn't pitch at all this season. Brazier, still really good. 34, he's going down in overall. So I think that's time, you know, shake hands part ways. Thank you for your service type situation. Winkler did very well. Is he going up in rating? Yes and no. So like, I, I'm not 100% sure about him. Probably, probably going to look to add a new reliever. Josh Taylor, ERA's high, whips in a good spot. It's it's a tough spot. And uh JB Wendelkin, man, what a what a letdown this season. But Yimmy Garcia held it down, did his job, and uh you know what? I'm happy about that. So let's get let's get Whitlock back up here because he had a really good season and we'll move Nance down. Whitlock deserves his shot in the bigs. Chris Sale, big disappointment. I'm not gonna lie, ERA's a lot higher than normal. Attributes are going down. We still have him for another two seasons. Uh oh. Ivaldi had a pretty strong season. He becomes a free agent this year, so we're gonna see how, you know, how much money he wants. You know, he's still going up in ratings, still holding well. So I'm thinking more like a one-year deal for him, but we'll have to wait and see. Marquez did well. I'm not sure about Erod. We got that club option, but I'm not 100% sure on him. And Vladimir Gutierrez, he didn't really change much in overall or anything. So like, it, I don't know if I'll bring him back, but it's not a bad season from him. Like I'm not like, dang, you know, like. I'm in, like I'm not too impressed, but like I'm not like he like I'm not let down by him, but I'm not like overly impressed. Like he kind of he gave me a good year. He definitely gave me a good year, but I was hoping for some development from him, and he didn't really do that. So we'll we'll see with him. Tony Walters was pretty bad. Uh, Michael Chavis cooled off towards the end of the year. 
So there's that. We've got Marwin Gonzalez. We're definitely not going to bring him back. Ronaldo Hernandez. And then who did they send down then? Let's see. Uh, Corey Dickerson. Was he that bad? Ooh. Ooh. Marcelo Myers up to a 78. He could potentially get called up next year if we really wanted to. I mean, I'm not against it. We do potentially have an opening at second base. Um, so Verdugo, really good season in the leadoff spot. Really good season in the leadoff spot. We've got Xander Bogarts, solid, solid year. Home run numbers went up. The double numbers even went up a little bit. JD Martinez, I gave him a two-year, oh, ooh, I gave him three years. Did I extend his contract this year? I might have extended his contract this year. Uh-oh. If he's going down in rating, we might be in trouble there. Devers had a really strong season with 41 home runs and 30 doubles, along with 13 stolen bases. Bobby Dahlbeck definitely, definitely deserves this first base spot. Like, we can't take a guy who's hitting 36 home runs out of the lineup. 23 home runs. We've already talked about Jaron Duran. Good season. Yeah, we got to get rid of Vasquez. And then Kike Hernandez definitely took a step back. He is going down in rating, so we'll see what we do. Franchi Cordero, though. You know what? Maybe we do have our outfielder here with Franchi. He definitely deserves a shot. Like, he's he's proven he deserves this shot. So, take it on the Rays. Let's see what happens. And we get swept. Absolutely swept. Like, it wasn't even close. The Padres defeat the Rays in the World Series. And as we head to the offseason... Whew. Okay. Let's see here. Um... I don't know what he's going to do. Is he going to keep... His rating, is he going to go down? Is he going to go up? I think the best thing to do now is to try to get a little bit younger. Because we, we do have quite a few older players. Like 35, 35, 34, 33, 33, 33, 33, 33. You know, you know what I mean? Like, it's not that that's old. But like in franchise, it kind of is. So... We got to... Plus, we're going to have some players become free agents. So we need to figure out what... Is it worth bringing back certain players? How much is this contract? 10 mil. How much does Evaldi want? 16, 20 for one season. Ooh, let me think about this. I'm not gonna bring anybody back. I wanna see what free agency looks like. I'm gonna take my chances there. Um, that That's my decision. I thought about that way too long. Um, let's add Baldwin. Let's add York. Let's add Potts. Arbitration. Not Walden, but everybody else is gonna get it. And then when we take a look at contracts, everybody's getting contracts. So, my thinking is, Marquez, I mean, I guess we could keep Gutierrez. The thing is, like, he didn't really improve, but he didn't really decrease either. So, it's not like it's the worst thing. We definitely need some bullpen help. I'm not too sure if either of these guys are, like, big league quality for a rotation. And since we're trying to win, we need some, like, big league quality pitchers. So, I think that's kind of the main focus for this offseason. We could give Chavis the job at second base. We could also go Marcelo Meyer, which I think is probably the route you guys want me to go. So we're probably going to go Marcelo Meyer for this season. Because that's what? Two seasons so far? Hmm. Okay. So yeah, season three. Let's bring in Marcelo Meyer. Let's call him up. So he's going to play second base. Outfield, we could go Franchi Cordero. But I also just see Franchi Cordero as a role guy. Like, he's not... He's not your everyday guy. He just isn't. You know, like I, I, I like Franchi. I think he's a crazy athlete. But like even in real life, you could tell he's just he's just not an everyday guy. He's streaky. He he's just one of those guys that there's there's better out there, right? So I feel like we should go out and get a name. Cattell Marte is kind of the one that's sticking out to me right now, but we'll have to wait and see. I mean, do we have anybody that can like move to the outfield? Or we're actually look. Uh, I was thinking of like someone on the team that could move to the outfield, but then that doesn't really change anything either. So let's go out and sign an outfielder. Let's go out and sign some pitching, and let's see what we can do with this team because we we really need to take it to the next step this year. And ooh, pitching's kind of weak this season. Ooh. All right, I'll figure something out. I'm going for Tony Gonsolin of the Dodgers for Roldani, Baldwin, Hudson Potts, and Michael Geddes. We need some bull or some starters. I just haven't been able to get anybody. As you can see, we brought Erod back, but like, who, who did we let go? Who did we let go? What's his name? I think he's still in free agency, to be honest. What's his name? Eovaldi. I, I, I'm not gonna match that contract. I'm not. It's like 19 mil over three years. I'm not matching it. No, thank you. Bullpen's looking like a little bit of an issue as well. I, there's just nobody. There's just there's nobody that is 
good and worth the money in my eye you know a lot of aging relievers that may may work out but like most likely won't so like we're just we're just in a tough spot um so yeah we get, ugh, i gotta figure something out because it's not getting any better nick pavetta matthew lugo are gonna get us luis garcia from the astros i'm actually okay with this deal he's had two pretty good seasons last year a little bit less good than the year before but he's young he's 25 he's under team control for the next three years so hopefully this pans out i need a little bit of help in the starting rotation so let's do this and then hmm we'll send down vladimir gutierrez who again he wasn't bad it's just i want better right like i want to win i want to be good luis Gar garcia has been like one of those shining stars for the astros this year just kind of i don't want to say came out of nowhere but like where did he come from you know type situation so this is the team the starting rotation looks really strong i'm a little worried about chris sale but we'll have to wait and see how that goes we got really lucky in the rule five draft with oberg and taylor williams and then we're gonna see how the rest plays out bullpen is so tough lately it is so tough it's been like my make or break and i just been super unlucky with it and then offensively can tell Marte on actually a pretty cheap deal 20 mil for the next four years so there it is that's the team in all its glory no dh can tell Marte is gonna play second base for us and then marcelo meyer is gonna pop out of the lineup but we're in the d we're in the american league so we have a dh almost every single game marcelo meyer is going to get plenty of game time and then i think jd martinez has a club option for next season if he does poorly and like not jd martinez-esque numbers like he had a great year last year 40 home runs but if he continues to drop in overall then what we'll do is we're gonna rock um somebody at the dh spot uh i don't know who but someone's getting put to the dh spot maybe I don't know. I'll figure it out. But that way, Marcelo Meyer is in the lineup every single day. So there it is. That's the team. Whew. I got extensions. Ooh, I did do extensions. I forgot. I forgot about that one. Devers. Almost a max deal for the next, I think, 10 years or 8 years. And Verdugo's like basically the same, except for I gave him a little bit longer of a contract. Long-term deal, though. Boom. That was big money. And then that's really about it. This is another option that we picked up in free agency. Just a trade piece, most likely. I think he's part of the Mets system. I think, I think, I think, I think. But there we are. Number two in the league. Let's see where we are now. Number seven. It's all right. This is our season. 97-65 won the division. Love to see it. There we go. League. Oh, no. Nope. Standings. Good team ERA. The average dropped. A lot of players disappointing seasons i'm not gonna lie it was unless things turned around from like you know end of august middle august like you know kind of also september call-ups let me tell you ooh, we had some down years holy cow give me garcia delivery man of the year and then a gold glove for bobby dahlbeck devers is continuing to put up really good numbers which you know you kind of expect that from him but Ooh, everything else not not looking too great not looking too great at all Yimmy Garcia has been a really good pickup for us Marcelo Meyer he struggled a little bit but you can see he's kind of improving so like you know he's up to an 82 I'm liking the numbers that I'm seeing you know the, it wasn't a great season maybe we rushed him but you know what he's he's doing well he's doing well so here we go pitching uh yeah he, he's improving tanner's improving you know the numbers are going up pretty quickly actually so i'm pretty happy about that we've got oberg who did struggle probably not going to bring him back i'm looking to spend money for once in free agency josh taylor pretty decent season like i said he's a usually a reliable lefty to have in the bullpen taylor williams was fantastic we got whitlock who is putting up really good numbers wendelkin not too bad not too bad what's he looking like Maybe we try to bring him back, depending on how much money he wants. And then Yimmy Garcia is killing it, man. He is absolutely killing it. And then Chris Sale got back on track. Looks like we're going to get one more decent season out of him. Herman Marquez becomes a free agent. We definitely need to lock him up. We've got Gonsolin, who struggled and is going down in rating, which you hate to see that. Every time I trade for him, he lets me down. Erod definitely getting back on track. He's going up in rating. So 11 mil for next year. Not too bad. And then Luis Garcia. I need you to do better i need you to do better we'll just leave it at that so yes jd martinez got moved to the bench because he just he was he was garbage man he was so bad like who got moved out marcelo meyer i mean i get it i get it we can we can rock michael chavis for the the postseason he was struggling 
Uh, no, no, no. Get in the team. Get in the team. This is this is his rebuild. Get in the team. Who's getting sent down? Who's you? Get out. Get out of here. You get you get in the team. Where is he at? Marcelo Meyer, second base. Boom. So JD Martinez, yeah, we we gotta let him go. I really hope I gave him that option for that final year. And then when you take a look at the rest of the team, Nico Goodrum got signed for a one-year deal just to kind of be a backup. Actually, not too bad. Michael Chavis, not as good as he was last year. And then back to the pitching. So looking at the team, you can see Verdugo. I did move him to right field. I did move him to right field. So maybe we need to move him back to center and then figure out what we do there. Ketel Marte, pretty strong season. Bogart's putting up okay numbers. Definitely did take a step back though. Devers continuously does well. Dahlbeck took a little bit of like a on-base percent. Actually, no, just his OPS went down a little bit. Struck out about 25 more times, so there's that. Franchi though, stepped in, gave him like everyday lineup I put him in the everyday lineup. Well, I don't know why I struggled with that so much. Wow. I put him in the everyday lineup from the trade deadline onwards. And this is what he gave me. So, meh. Duran struggled. Meyer struggled. Vasquez struggled. <sighs> what do we do, man? Cortez, this is our new catcher. That's our new catcher. There, there, that solves that thing. Uh, Jeter Downs needs to get into the team. I don't know how. Oh. Dahlbeck. DH. Um, Devers to first, Marcelo Meyer to third, D Jeter Downs to second base. Solved it. Boom. Done. We also have Tristan Casas who needs to get into the team somehow. It's 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 just a jumbled up mess. We'll figure it out. But um, yeah, the lineup lineup's a little meh. You know, like we we definitely could do better. Um, let me just move Verdugo back to center. I feel like that that really hurt his rating for some reason. We'll, we'll just move him back to center. So, all right, we're facing the Twins. Last year, I think, eliminated us. Was it the Twins last year? I don't remember now. No, it wasn't the Twins. Who was it? Of course, we're going to lose. We're going to lose. We're going to lose. I don't remember who knocked us out last year. I completely forgot. And we lose 8-0. Chris Sale, are you, are you kidding me? Why? 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 Cubs defeat the Twins. And, yeah, there's that. We suck. It's just... Just can't put it together, huh? Just can't put it together. All right. I didn't give JD Martinez an ex a club option. How much is it gonna cost me to just release him? Because he's gonna be like a 12 by the end of the season. I'm gonna pay 16 mil. Mm -hmm. Someone wants him. Who wants him? Nobody. No, we're we're finding a way to get rid of him. What do we need? Um, potentially a starter. Potentially a starter. Ooh, a reliever. There's somebody out there who wants him. Who wants them? Who wants them? Someone out there. I know there is somebody that doesn't have a contract yet. So we might have to wait on the whole JD Martinez trade. So let's just figure this out. Yimmy Garcia. Yes. Five mil. Been killing it. These two can go. Franchi Cordero. What do you what do you want? That's not too bad, actually. I'll give you a year. Not every day, though. That that that's a lie. I can't I can't promise you that. I'll give you that. How's that sound? Christian Vasquez, no. Herman Marquez, what would you like? 20 mil? Yeah, I'm down. I'm down. I'm down. I'll give you a little player option at the end, even though it's not going to matter. So there it is. Those are our two contract negotiations. Let's see where people stand now with the whole, we, we need to get rid of some players. And by get rid of some players, I need to get rid of the man, JD Martinez. But who do I want? Who is available? Has he been good? yes and no Ooh. okay let's let's find somebody let's see who's in the al that we can steal so that we can start breaking up some of the good teams who who do the twins have we gotta we gotta destroy the twins you guys got anybody good no i don't want to go to the astros again trevor rosenthal how's darwin's in doing not great so i'm glad we got rid of him rafael montero jose leclerc um we might be uh it's kind of stuck here there is nobody. Jonathan Holder? Am I really going to trade for Jonathan Holder? They want more? I mean, as long as we can get rid of him, get that salary dump out of here. What about... Who else? Who would you take? What about him? Nope. Mm, I don't want to give you him. What about him? And him. Okay, that works. It's a big salary dump. I'll take it. Jonathan Holder into the team. Former Yankee. I don't know why I keep getting former Yankees, but... Whatever. It... it, it whatever. It... It's happened before, 
and we're gonna make it happen again so bullpen not bad not bad definitely need to get Herman Marquez back lineup wise that actually opens up the DH which we can do that and then I said Marcelo Meyer to third Devers to first I know Devers has been playing a lot better in real life at third base but if we can move him to first because we can get a better bat in I think that's the move Jeter Downs can play second or we can get a second baseman I don't know I'll think about it the thing is I'm bringing everybody back we're improving this team and we gotta win all right for the fourth season I figured let's let's take a look here and um, you can see Chris Sale, Gonsolin, Marquez is back. I signed him, what, three-year deal, I think? So a three-year deal. Eduardo Rodriguez, Luis Garcia. The bullpen, same. Like, obviously the trade for Holder. But everything else is kind of the same. And I, I like the bullpen. I thought they did really well last year. And then the offense, no changes. We, we have so many good young players that I feel like let's just throw them in. Like, look at Jeter Downs hitting stats. Like, those are good. Um... So basically the bottom of the lineup set, we've got the catcher that we drafted as well. And then of course, Tristan Casas has been called up. Like we're, we're kind of set, I think offensively, unless something terribly goes wrong. The thing that I'm worried about is the starters. Um, Sale becomes a free agent. Rodriguez becomes a free agent. Gonsolin we have signed up, but we could always trade him if need be. And then we don't really have anybody in the farm system that like is ready. So like, I think the big thing is once these free agents become free agents like I doubt I'm gonna re-sign Chris Sale and Warren Rodriguez has got to put up like something crazy for me to re-sign him and I think with that in mind you know we're gonna lose we're gonna have like what 30 we're gonna have some money to play with next year which definitely opens up the possibility for us to just really revamp this starting rotation and get good so do I make a trade I like this offensive lineup I don't really want to change it it would be a starter but who is the starter that gets the axe you know what i mean i got an idea let me get a starter zach gallon for brian mata and jason rosario i know they're top top prospects but you know what we gotta get especially brian mata i know i think he's top three i think for the red sox at least top five i know that for sure i could be wrong now that i'm saying that it could be top 10. i know i know he's he's one of the coveted prospects for the red sox right now but I want to win now. He's not He's not going to be ready to feature for this rebuild. So let's get him in. We're going to move. Gonsolin's really good. But like I just feel like he fits this role a little bit better. I feel bad for dropping Tanner now. And I know he's kind of one of those like bright spots for the young, for the rotation, for the future, for the Red Sox. But he he's just not going to feature. So yeah, that's, that's the addition there. There we go. That actually is pretty good. Especially since we have control for him for next year too through arbitration. I like that move. I like that move a lot. So if we lose, you know, Chris Sale, we can't bring someone back. And if we lose Rodriguez and we can't get someone back, then we still have Tanner down there. We're going to have Gonsolin. We'll have some depth. So there it is. That's the trade for the season. Let's do season four. 98-64 won the division, taking on the White Sox. The battle of the Sox for the postseason right now. So good season. Again, we're a really good team. We're just letting a lot of the youngsters play and i feel like that's I, i've been liking i've been really liking that approach with these rebuilds lately just because there's so many good young players in the league might as well give them a chance like a chance to shine did i just see juan soto on the astros did i did i really just see juan soto on the astros so they traded him last year because it says total he got traded last year I didn't get a notification for that. That's insane. That's wild. That's wild. That's that's insane. All right. Unbelievable. Holy cow. Holy cow. All right. Um, pitching rotation. Let's see what changed here. Who got sent down? It was Whitlock. I mean, I don't hate the season at all. I think I think they were a little aggressive calling him down, but. Let's see what happened. Tanner got called up 30 innings. Pretty solid. Pretty solid. Gonsolin struggled. Man, he just never does well, huh? Um, Josh Taylor. We've got Taylor Williams, who's actually been a really good pickup for us from the Rule 5 draft. Jonathan Holder. Tommy Nance. We've got Wendelkin, who I'm definitely not bringing back. And then Yimmy Garcia has been unbelievable for us. When we take a look at our starters, we've got Chris Sale, Zach Gallen, Marquez, who unbelievable season. Glad we've locked him up for the future. Rodriguez did very well and then Luis Garcia. So I'd actually be cool keeping this rotation. Uh let's see what Chris Hale's looking like. 
maybe if we can get him for cheap maybe otherwise like probably just go out and get a new starter right when we take a look at our bench tristan casas pretty strong season off the bench i would say 14 hits five of them being a home run and then a triple almost half his hits were extra base hits and then we take a look at the rest of the bench franchi did well um the other guys eh. verdugo turned it around a little bit kind of not really eh you know eh. Marte, eh. where's where's our offense going xander bogart's had a good year devers had a good year bobby dahlbeck still crushing home runs which is kind of what i expect from him Marcelo Meyer improved, improved. We'll take a look at his attributes. I mean, still 21. I mean, look, look at those hitting stats. Like he's, he's going to be good. You know, Jaron Duran, why is he getting worse? What's going on here, man? What's going on, man? We got Jeter Downs, who was unbelievable. Unbelievable. How did he not win rookie of the year? And then Giancarlo Cortez. I like this team. I like this team a lot. I like this team a lot. We've got to figure out what's going on with the team, though. Um, we got to get more wins. Uh, but, yeah, I know some guys are, per are underperforming. That's really what it comes down to. Playoff time. We better win this. There we go. All right. Uh, facing the Astros now. Let's get our best pitchers forward. Um, I feel like it's got to stay that way. Even though, like, Rodriguez did well, Marquez did well. I feel like... Please win this game. Okay, this has got to be a win. Boom. World Series versus the Mets. DeGrom versus Gallon. Okay, so we'll put like this. Just so Sale can get into the rotation there. All right, game one. We lose. Two, we won though. Okay, we win. We lose. Okay, let's get like that. We'll put Gallon there. This has got to be a win. It's a loss. That is tough. Okay, this is the World Series. I'm okay. I'm okay. Quick managing the World Series. Let's go with Marquez. Rodriguez is pretty. Let's go Marquez for this one. Please win. Well, I mean, we're facing the ground. It's going to be a tough matchup. Could we get to him early? We can't. That's tough. Let's see their team. Kyle Lewis is new. Alvarez has come up through the system. Okay. But we need to score early and often. Cortez with the home run. Talk about a way to make a statement in the postseason in the World Series. All right, come on. A double, no run there. Okay, 2 nothing. Please, just score up more. No, Pete Alonso, stop. Stop, stop, stop. Right here, Cattell Marte, I need you. Runner was thrown out. That's tough. That's tough. That's really tough. I hate seeing that. Please don't get the run in. Sack fly. 2-2. Two, two. Man, I hate that a lot. <laughs> like, so much. Cortez, home run. I'll take it. A single. Base hit right here. Mm, fielder's choice. A pop-up. And a strikeout. And a home run. Ugh. Three to two. It comes down to these last two innings. I need some offense. There you go, Marte. There you go, Bogarts. That's big. Double play was not what I wanted. But we're going to take him out. We're going to go to... Can I trust Wendelkin? Can I trust Wendelkin? I, I I could I could that was that was huge um we're gonna pinch hit we're gonna go to Franchi because he's a beast off the bench and he gets out all right cool um I'm yeah we gotta go we gotta go Yimmy Yimmy's been the man don't let me down game seven here we come game seven here we come Taiwan Walker on the mound for them he's been outstanding this rebuild I've been looking at him he's been killing it do we go Chris Sale or Rodriguez I think we gotta go Chris Sale let's get into it let's get let's strike early again that's good. that's gonna be huge we got to score early and i think i think five runs is gonna be the sweet spot if we hit five automatic win but right now chris sale has the only hit of the game and then a double play there you go Catal Marte. keep the bat hot keep the bat hot um where's the rest of the offense though i need more of it one run isn't gonna be enough i know that for sure a sack bunt that's cool move them over we gotta score that run though. You got the if you got the guy out there, you gotta bring him in. Kyle Lewis goes deep, two to one. This is game seven. We gotta win this game. There you go, Devers. Three to two. A double play. That's not ideal at all. A single. Can Chris Sale help himself out? He can't. That's unfortunate. A single, a fly out, a fly out. Three flyouts to end the inning. Perfect. Pitching change. Verdugo versus Castro. A single. First and second. Please bring in a couple runs here. 
you, you like you can't make that up dude a double play like that really 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 um i'm gonna take him out here in the eighth we're gonna go back to wendelkin again please keep it there it is one two three inning perfect i don't know who's gonna be on the mound for them trevor may let's go back to franchi oh actually let's go tristan casas grounds out all right <laughs> unfortunate and then the double play all right it comes down it comes down to yimmy yimmy you gotta bring it home for us please he does it world series whoo whoo that was a little tense let's see who wins the awards here devers and devers okay had himself a postseason 448 average oh okay we'll take a quick look at the offensive numbers as you can see Devers really carried the team offensively. Marcelo Meyer had a pretty good postseason, but um, everybody else kind of a letdown. I'm not going to lie. The pitching really kind of held it down, huh? Let's see who, though. Williams, Holder, Nance was okay. Wendelkin and Yimmy Garcia. Eight innings, eight strikeouts. What was the, the postseason like? Four to three, three to two, ten to one. That's a tough loss. But the White Sox, ten to one, another tough loss. 11 to nothing. I mean, yikes. When we lost, we lost big. That's really what it came down to. When we lost, we lost big. Whoo. Um, yeah, that there there's that. But let's figure this out. Who do we want back? I mean, ugh, those minus those minuses, they kind of worry me. He's been so good though. Do we do it or do we bring in like an elite closer? I kind of, excuse me, I kind of want to bring in an elite closer just for just for a year. We'll bring Franchi back. I feel like he's kind of part of the team now. Rodriguez. Hmm, how much does he want? 18. Hmm, I just, uh, I'm just not sold on him. You know, like he's been good. But like, I feel like since we have the money, why not use it, right? Because like offensively, I'm going to call up Judd Fabian. He's going to pop into this team. So he's going to be that extra fielder here. And then when you look at the rotation, you know, we could use Gonsolin here if we wanted to. We can go out and sign two players. We can use Tanner here. So I guess we could just sign like one other elite pitcher and then two bullpen arms. And we should have plenty of money to do that. Like we should have plenty of money to do that. So yeah, I think that's the move. Who is going to be our closer for next year? Ooh, Nick Anderson, mm, Gallegos. We could go Gallegos. I mean, there's good relievers, but like, are there really good relievers? Man, I don't really want to pick up Osuna. I just don't. Mm, do I do it though? No, I don't want to. I think let's get one elite pitcher. Let's get a couple relievers and let's finish off this fifth season. Final season, Robert Stevenson. I've looked at different pitchers. I could go get Giovanni Gallegos. I feel like that's someone that we get often. Devin Williams, I feel like I've gotten recently. And I looked around the league, you know, I could get like Keegan Thompson, switch it up a little bit, but like, I mean, I, I, it's it's so tough. There's like a bunch of relievers that work and there's like a bunch of relievers that like don't work. You know what I mean? Like, so uh, Joe Jimenez, I could go get Joe Jimenez. Tyler Alexander, I guess that's a different one. I think we do need a lefty. Let me take a look. Let me see. What do we need? We could use a lefty. Okay. So yeah, let's go get Tyler Alexander of the Tigers. He's probably going to let me down big time. But you know what? Let's just make it happen. They can have Michael Chavis. He's been pretty disappointing besides like the one season that he did well. Albert Barrios is going to make the deal happen as well. So yeah, that's the only trade. You, you got to see this team now. All right, here we go. Soroka, big time deal, 31 mil. We've got Zach Gallen still, Herman Marquez, Eduardo Rodriguez, and Luis Garcia. Eduardo Rodriguez, two years, 22 mil. We've got Tanner out here, Josh Taylor, Taylor Williams, Jonathan Holder, Tyler Alexander, Tony Gonsolin, who I made a relief pitcher now, and then Yimmy Garcia. Tony Gonsolin, I feel like in this spot, could do really well. If not, oh well, well, we'll find a new replacement. Tristan Casas, Blaze Jordan, Judd Fabian, Ronaldo Hernandez, and Franchi Cordero. And then, I mean, the offensive lineup hasn't changed. So there it is. In all its glory, we're ranked fourth. I don't know how. I feel like we're a better team than that. Let's finish this final season off. 97 to 65. Again, we're going to be taking on the White Sox. And we've been pretty consistent when it comes to the record for the last, like, what, three years? And then this year, too? I mean, we've been like 95, 96, 97 every single season. So. Taking on the White Sox, so Astros are still really good. I mean, they have what, Juan Soto? I'm assuming they still have Jordan, which, pff, 
would be insane. I'm kind of intrigued by this team now. Let's go take a look and see what they're looking like. Altuve, Taylor, Seager. So okay, Soto, Seager, Alvarez, Josh Bell, Bregman, Kyle Tucker. Okay. And Gary Sanchez. And Gary Sanchez. What is their pitching? Where are they? Sevi, McCullers, Rakiti, Javier, Whitley. Whitley looks really good. Holy cow. And then I mean just unreal pitching staff. Yeah, this 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 is just a really good team. Holy holy cow. Okay, league leaders, Devers with war. And then we take a look at awards, just a gold glove. Okay. Joey Gallo mashing things in Chicago. That'd be an interesting player to have for the Chicago White Sox. And right field. Ooh. I wonder if the White Sox have him on the radar. I'd even consider that. Joey Gallo in right field for the White Sox. Get that lefty power bat. I mean, I'm just saying. It'd be crazy. It'd be crazy. Henry Davis wins Rookie of the Year. And let's take a look here. We got Tristan Casas, who not as good as last year, but still fairly good, right? Again, extra base hit machine. 10 extra base hits, 17 hits. Blaze Jordan. Meh. Um, Connor Wong. Judd Fabian struggled a little bit this year. And then Franchi Cordero. So who got sent down? The other catcher. Where is he? Ronaldo Hernandez. He got sent down. Okay. When we take a look at our starters. We got Verdugo, who's just been declining since we offered him a contract. Ketel Marte back doing Ketel Marte things with 32 home runs. 34 home runs for Bogarts. 40 for Devers with a really strong season. Bobby Dahlbeck's been just 30 home runs every single year. Super consistent. And uh, 28 doubles this year. Marcelo Myers. What, what's the issue here? Maybe his discipline? Because otherwise, his stats are good, right? Like, I feel like he should be doing better. Uh, Duran definitely turned things around this year. Got back on track. Jeter Downs took a little step back, but the power numbers improved, which I like to see. That's good. And then Cortez. Pretty similar to last year. Like, really similar to last year. So, I mean, this team's stacked. Um, for the future, though, probably not set up too well. I'm just going to be honest. Um, let's take a look at our pitching staff, see how everything went. They sent down Taylor Williams. That was my doing because he was having a rough year. What about Josh Taylor? I mean, I see why. I understand it. Wow, what happened to Tanner here? He had like a three ERA at the All-Star break. What happened? Uh, Jonathan Holder did well. You got Whitlock who got called up for Taylor Williams. He had a good season. Tommy Nance, let's hope you do well in the postseason. Tyler Alexander, Tony Gonsolin was so good. That, this was the right move. Move him to the setup role. And then Yimmy Garcia, dude. Brought him back, proved his worth. And then look at these starters. We've got Soroka, who I didn't know Soroka had this good of a year until I was looking through free agency. And I saw that and I was like, whoo, whoo, insane. Uh, Zach Allen struggled a little bit, but we got Marquez. Rodriguez and then Luis Garcia. Honestly, this Zach Allen was our worst pitcher out of everybody. So I might go Marquez. Yeah, I might go like that. Zach Allen was good, but like we we got better, right? So final season, here we go. White Sox. There we go. Right through them. All right, this is probably gonna be the tough matchup right here. So we're gonna have Soroka, Marquez. Yeah, no, no, no. Yep, just like that. All right, perfect. Game one versus the Astros. We lose 12 to nothing. Oof, wow, okay. It comes down to Marquez. We lose in game seven. We lose bad every game. 12 nothing, 16 to five, 10 to two. This game was close and they gave it to Tommy Nance of all people. That's unfortunate. That is tough. That is tough. But you know what? I'm really happy with this team. Like, this team is good. I like this team. We won a World Series. We finally broke, like, that curse that we have had for so long where we haven't won a World Series. Offense went a little stale. Ooh. But, yeah. I mean, it's a good team. Fairly young, too. I mean, you look at the budget. We can talk about this really quick. I mean, this offseason might be a little rough, but in a couple years, you figure out who you want to keep, who you want to get rid of, and I think you're set. I mean, this you actually still have some money to play with. I think this team's set up for the future, especially when you look at, like, yeah, you have Verdugo long-term. Marte becomes a free agent soon. Bogarts, Devers sticking around. But then Dahlbeck becomes a free agent. 
you got Marcelo Meyer for a while, Duran for a little bit. Like you're kind of set. Like if you pick your spots and work around who you want to keep and who you want to get rid of, I think this team's pretty good. So I hope you enjoyed it. One World Series, Marcelo Meyer got up to like a 90 as a second baseman. I guess we could look at him as like a, a shortstop as well, just to kind of get an idea of where he would actually be rating wise. Let's see here. He is a 83. At 22 years old though that's that's still really good that's still really really good he's still he's on pace for like jeter downs levels where he'll be 88 by the time he's 25 so you've got a superstar in the making so i hope you enjoyed it if you did thumbs up down below subscribe to the channel if you're new and enjoy the content and of course in the comment section what's next catch you guys tomorrow peace